Hey everyone, so this is a very exciting video for me today because I get to announce that my second novel, Celestial Land and Sea, is now published. It was published this month, February 2015, by Open Books and it is currently available for purchase from Amazon and the Open Books website and it'll soon be available from the Barnes & Noble website as well as many other places online. It's also possible that it'll be available in some bricks and mortar stores soon, so keep an eye on my Facebook and Twitter pages for more information about that. So this is the front cover, we have a lovely image of a ship there and then on the back we have some information, we have the blurb and a little bit about me. So the best way for me to describe this to you is to read out the blurb on the back to give you a taster of what it is about. Grace Byrne finds a little satisfaction in working for the Anchor News team. The only positive thing about her job is Andy. When Grace returns home from work, tired and discouraged one evening, she discovers a door in her home that she's certain she's never seen before. Rife with curiosity, she opens the door and falls into an abyss, landing inside a pirate ship on Clare Island, Mayo. Grace discovers that she must now walk in the boots of Granny O'Malley, the notorious 16th century female Irish pirate. Cast into the drama of a revolt against Queen Elizabeth I, Grace finds her courage, her lineage and of course, love. Now the main excitement for me with this was the chance to write about Grania O'Malley or Grania Whale. She is one of my favourite historical figures and she is so exciting and the incorporation of Elizabeth I was so much fun. It is also partly set in Hampstead. Hampstead is my favourite place in all the world. It is where Grace Byrne lives and it is of course the place where Grace finds the portal to Clare Island, Mayo in the 16th century. So if you buy it, read it, look at it, I would love to know what you think of this. I had so much fun writing this over the last kind of year and a half and I'm kind of sad that the writing process is over. I'm kind of sad that I don't get to really work on it anymore but I get to write other things now and now I get to look at this and I'm over the moon. I'm really, really happy. If you have any questions about Celestial Land and Sea or anything at all, please let me know in the comments below this video. I will be doing a and a about this at some point in the future. So if you have any contributions for that, also leave them below. You will get a shout out if I answer your question. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my second novel, Celestial Land and Sea, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.